Hi everyone, my name is John Rainey. I am a sculptor based in Belfast and I'm going to be taking you on a virtual tour of an exhibition that I did with Golden Thread back in 2016. The title of the show was On Visibility. It was developed for the gallery's project space and it was actually my first uh, solo presentation in Belfast. The show was really influenced uh, by thinking about integrity and authenticity in online space and the controlled communication that happens in these spaces through what we make visible. Prior to this show, I had been making work that was exploring our transition into virtual spaces and virtual ways of living. I was interested in representation of the body and how that evolves within digital spaces which has so much to do with the premise of seeing and being seen and using images as a form of communication. One of the ways I'd repeatedly been exploring this idea was through the format of the classical portrait bust, so borrowing from the conventions of sculpture, but where the traditional face-to-face -face interaction between an artist and a sitter is replaced by digital communication via images. So this was a new 3D printed portrait that I made for On Visibility. It was called Head and Hands. Hands are something that recur often in my work in part because they are the parts of the body that we typically use to interface with computers or technology more broadly. For Head and Hands, I use 3D scans of my own hands to create a self portrait that appears as this kind of frenzied hive of hand activity where the hands converge into the form of a likeness. While one of the main themes of the exhibition was about seeing and being seen, there was also an aspect of it that was exploring the idea of intentionally not being seen. Uh, so thinking about the sort of clandestine activities that happen in the shadows of virtual spaces. So there were pieces about willful anonymity with eliminated body parts or limited representation. Pieces that represent connections that are hard to decipher. And then there was this porcelain piece that looks like a discarded mask hung over a steel structure. I use porcelain in ways that people often mistake for silicon or industrial plastic. And that was implemented across this exhibition to create an impression of things not being as they seem. I had exhibited in a number of project spaces at this point, and I'd always like to think of them as spaces where you have greater freedom to try things out and to be experimental. I used the project space in this case to start thinking differently about exhibition design and creating settings for my sculptures that become more like immersive experiences. That included designing and producing exhibition furniture for the first time and using colour as a way of creating interactions between individual pieces and the space. I created this horizontal division of the main stretch of wall in the project space with a very homogenised, unrealistic flesh tone above and then black underneath and a series of pieces that fall above or below this borderline, interacting with the colour in various states of camouflage. Pairing back the palette also had the effect of creating a pervasive tonally filtered quality over the space, which reflected, you know, probably at the time more so than now, what felt like a common tendency to over filter images as if reality was becoming increasingly unsatisfactory. This was an exhibition that was really formative for me. I can see threads and breakthroughs that were taken a lot further in subsequent work. So I'd like to thank Golden Thread for asking me to revisit and reflect on the exhibition. And thank you very much for joining me.